Got all the, those views on it. It's terrible. Anyways, let's try this yeah. one. Uh, it says the radius of a tin atom is 1.41 times 10 to the negative eighth centimeters. What is the radius of the tin atom in nanometers? Okay, so you're going to have to remember some conversion factors for this one. So I like to go all the way back up to meter. So um, one uh, nanometer is 1 times 10 to the negative ninth meters, like that. Okay. And 100 centimeters is 1 meter, like that. Okay. So we've well, got it in centimeters, and we want to convert it to nanometers. So we can convert from centimeters to meters, right? And then from meters to nanometers. Does everybody see that? So that's the way I like it. You could actually, if you knew the conversion between centimeters and nanometers in your head, you can do that too. Uh, since we're um, introductory chemistry, let's just do it this way. It's easy. One centimeter, one meter, and what happens? Cancel, cancel, right? So we're on meters now. We don't want meters, we want nanometers. So what are we going to do? One times ten to the negative ninth. Um, meters is one nanometer. Cancel, cancel. Like that, right? So what are we in now? Units of meters, right? So the radius of the tin atom is going to be, let's try it together. So one, 1.41 E negative 8 divide that number by 100, and then divide that number by 1e negative 9. We should get a more reasonable number, 0 0.141 nanometers. So, the radius of atoms are kind of on that scale, the nanometer, actually angstrom scale, but are there any questions on this one? It's effectively a conversion factor, metric to metric conversions.